city of Atampa app is created in order to um, help um, solve maternal and infant health um, death in the country because um, over the years, the previous years, we had a lot of pregnant women dying and we, 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 we also had a lot of um, infant death recorded in the country. So um, it led me to build a technology that is going to help solve these pro um, this problem. It has so many features. That's the podcast, talk to a midwife, nanny service, shop and appointment. Uh, that, uh, this is supposed to mean that if you want to have an appointment with a health worker, and then the podcast has to do with some of the information. Let me check on baby monitoring. Oh, you have someone here, a nurse, who is supposed to provide you with all the information you need to know. Currently, we are um, working with some of these um, health tele telecommunication networks um, to be able to develop a USSD um, application for those using the second generation phones and stuff. So um, you get to, uh, let's say, maybe test mom to maybe 17, 38 or something. So currently, we are working on it and very soon, I think, we will have um, a USSD code. The application is named Obatampa in a can to give it a national identity for present and potential users. Two other languages, English and Hausa, give it wider public appreciation. Zedan's vision is to be able to bring some level of improvement in the health sector, especially and reduce mortality rate. Walk into the antenatal um, health sector, you get to see that a lot of these pregnant women don't get access to information. A lot of them don't know. Um, whatever is happening to them during pregnancy and after pregnancy. So you just um, ask friends, ask families, um, if they have any complications, they don't know who to, who to, who to talk to. So they just talk to um, either a friend or a, or a family for some um, advice. Or, and some of them also walk um, into the pharmacy, buy um, themselves some, some drugs that cause birth defects. Um, so I was thinking of um, I have to build something that is a mobile app that is going to help solve this prob problem, make um, real-time information available to these women so we can reduce um, both infant and maternal mortality rate in the country. When completely finished, expectant mothers may not have to visit antenatal clinic as often as they presently do. Like any human initiative, there are challenges Zaidan would have to overcome. You were talking about the Ghana Health. Um, yeah, I went there and they told me the nurse in charge is, is not around, so I should go and come back. I always go there and they just keep tossing me. So instead of going to the Ghana Health um, service, I'm now going directly to the hospitals, talking to them and getting them on board. So I think if I get Ghana Health Service to approve this app for me, um, it will really help a lot of pregnant women and nursing mothers. And, and Seriously, I can't, I can't really tell how much it, it cost me to, to build it. Well, basically, um, what I wanted to um, achieve with this software um, is um, I want at the end of every year, like, we should record, we should record um, a low number of maternal and infant um, death rate in the country. That's one of the biggest achievements I would like to see in the near future. Zaidan is just one of many other creative students who need some push to be able to build their future and advance the course of society. Mahmoud Mohamed Nouroudi reporting.